Hey Leo, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. So this will be your love reading for November 2018, Leo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Sorry for the delay. If you guys, I know a lot of you are waiting for readings. Um, I will have them, the rest that I have left uh, out tonight and tomorrow. Okay, if you'd like to request a personal reading, there is a delay. Okay, so please know that ahead of time, but links are in the description box below. All right, so let's get started with your reading and see what the energy is here. One more shuffle. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This reading will be a bit more for uh, how the other person feels and what's going on with the other person. If you want, to, if you're single and you don't have anybody, you can check my playlist. I do have a singles read. I do believe it's for November. I'm not sure. I think it is. I'll have to catch up on those. But um, yeah, check that out. Okay. So wait, I said one more, but I felt like I needed to do another one more. Okay. Give me just a second here. Okay, Leo. I'm going to try and fit this on my screen. I had to use a different ca excuse me, camera. I had a feeling, Leo, the devil card was going to show up for you. Wow. All right. The hermit. He's a just a devil. Uh, four of cups. Knight of wands. The eight of cups. Three of Wands, Prince of Discs, Ten of Swords. Interesting, interesting. I always say that. It's not overly interesting. I mean, it is, but. <laughs> All right, let's pull a card to see what the overall energy is for love, for Leos, for the month of November. Now, remember, this energy is fluid. So, you know, I'm doing this November 5th. It could have some of this stuff could have already happened or it could be present uh, going into the future anytime it could actually go into December so okay this just flew out so Leo your love message here is you need to release your ex um, the time has come to clear your energy okay uh, that's significant for you guys. Some of you may still be holding on to someone, even if you are not physically involved with this person. Your energy in your mind and your emotions could still be connected to this person. Okay, so maybe some of you have released this person. Maybe some of you, some of you, um, I feel have ended something or something ended in the past, and. Um, it's a process of letting go and I feel this is just a reminder to keep focused on that um, for some reason now or you need to be reminded about why you needed to let go of someone okay um, because this card says the time has come to clear your energy so it's not the physical part it's the the energetic part now the past position is the ace of discs so that's the ace of pentacles somebody i feel there was an energy here uh, a potential for something stable with someone in the past okay um there may have been someone that um reached out to offer you something stable and this doesn't have to be your ex. This could be somebody else as well, okay? You, whoever you are thinking about, if, if you've got, you know, some of you may have released an ex and then you had someone else recently who came in. So try to hear both messages. And as we go through the reading, uh, what resonates for you, you'll know, okay? But the Ace of Discs is, is always an, a potential for something new and, sta and stable, okay? Somebody may have offered you a gift. Could have been money. It could have been. Um, it could have been your view of the situation where you, th at some point, if this is your ex, thought that there was a potential for something stable with this person. But the current energy is the devil. 
Okay, so in regard to whomever you're thinking of, this person, there is a very strong sexual attraction to this person and it's toxic. Okay, and that could have something to do with why you need to keep releasing this person. It's not like, you know, one day you just shut the door and then that's it, it's gone, it's over. It's a process. It's not something that happens as soon as you shut the door. It takes time. And um, there's a sexual connection. There's an addictive quality to this particular person that has kept you unable to um, release yourself from them. Definitely why this card is showing up here. Almost as if it's a reminder. Um, and I'm not really one who says, you know, the best way to get over someone is to get under someone else. I, I think that's just a facade, and I think that's false. Um, it's, it's definitely a distraction. I mean, if that's the case, if you don't want to do that, then go get drunk every day. I mean, time is the biggest healer. Time is what heals things. Escaping, sleeping, it helps a bit, but it doesn't actually end it. Okay, you have to just, at least in my experience, it's just been to allow time to help release and to heal. Okay, so the present energy is you are still very physically attracted to this person. You're still, and they are to you as well. There's still a sexual attraction. There's still um, this addictive quality between the two of you, and it's very difficult to release. Okay, um, this person's thoughts on the situation, they have the hermit. So some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Virgo. We could have fire energy here, Taurus. Um, so uh, this person, they are in isolation. They're hiding out. And the hermit card is someone who just, they're reflective. Their thoughts on the situation between the two of you is that it's even hard to tell. They're not really revealing how they, how they feel or what they're thinking right now or at least in November. Um, I really can't tell you what their thoughts are on the situation. I can only tell you that they are, they are going in deep and uh, reflecting and trying to sort things out in their mind and uh, figure things out. But I'm not picking up an, a, any energy here because it's the hermit card and the hermit is a hermit he just he disappears he pulls back isolates goes away ghosts you know and this person may have you know his his thought is his or her thought is to um detach right now and i feel that's because this connection is so strong they don't know what to do they don't really know how to handle it <laughs> quite honestly how this person thinks of you is a four of cups so they feel like you don't want their their love the four of cups is someone who is uh, taking the refusal it's refusing any love offers coming in and um so for those of you that did release this person in the past um they are now thinking that you would not want to reconnect with them you must have sent a very strong message to someone because I f this person because I feel like they got the message they get they're getting the message right now right um, the four of cups is you know this person they feel that you get a lot of uh, offers for love or you get um, but you just keep turning your they think you're just turning things down or that you're just not trying to be in that place right now and what they think of you in regard to them is that anything that they try to offer you they don't think that you will accept it from them how they feel about you the knight of wands <laughs> so you know this person for some of you i'll be honest they think that you play around a lot or you're very flirty or that you are very sexually uh, active and that you're but you're non-committal the knight of wands has kind of that playboy playgirl energy so is someone who just comes in and out very passionate okay this can be leo uh, but very passionate and fiery and heated and hot and um, it sits under the devil card so there's definitely an energy here of um, you know you you guys may have had a very sexual relationship 
that was um, maybe you thought it was going to be something more, but it turned out to be uh, still presently in this devil energy where that took, that was a, I don't want to say it's priority, but that it, it was like if we had to put it in order, it was a sex first, love later. And I don't really feel like you wanted that, but that's actually what happened. And um, so the way they feel about you is that um, either they think that you are promiscuous or um, they are wanting to charge back in with this energy towards you. Okay, they're still connected to it and they're struggling with that. And they're very struggling, very much struggling with um, the fact that you've released them and they can't have that sexual connection with you any longer, at least, well, for November. And now what this person wants is they have the Eight of Cups. They want to be able to break away. They want to be able to temporarily get away from what they're feeling they're so confused they th this person feels abandoned they it's almost like right now for november they just want to be left alone because it sits under the hermit card they are um they're disconnecting and i feel like um what they want from the connection right now is no connection there's indolence here the eight of cups though is temporary card it's not um you know walking away forever it's just that i feel like this person is re collecting regrouping trying to figure things out every time i look at this hermit card here i just feel like um they're stressed like they're just stressed like the nine of swords even though that's not what that card represents i'm i'm picking that up And I also feel like here, there was very little emotion here left in this person. And it, they're emptying the rest of that out right now. They're, you know, they're, I feel like they're trying to release as well. And I, f and I also feel like both of you are trying to release, not just the physical, but the, the, um, the um, mental and emotional energy that the connection brought. Now, what you need to know about this person, they do have virtue. They are virtuous. Um, they have the three of wands. So they do want, uh, they, they're always looking for expansion and growth in their lives. Um, and they're always waiting for their ships to come in. I feel like um, this person, what you need to know about them is that um, they, they wait for people to come to them. And, and, and I do feel like they, um, I don't want to say they put things out there and then they wait for it to come back. I actually feel like they sit in this position where, um, well, if nobody, you know, if, 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 if he or she doesn't come to me, I'll just wait and see who does. But I don't feel like they go out of their way to, um, or at least in November, they're not going out of their way to make connections with anyone. They're just kind of like standing at the shore, watching the ships uh, pass by and waiting to see, okay, well, whoever, you know, ports here, then, um, you know, whoever docks in, in my port, then, okay, I'm, I'm open to that. But I feel like they're not really being aggressive towards uh, really trying to reconnect with anyone, not even you, because they just have like all this stress they're just so completely deep within themselves they don't know what's going on with them and they're just trying to get away from the emotional connection um or release that energy um but i do feel like they do want growth in a connection with you they they would like to have that they just don't know how to do it they don't know how to make um the sexual connection um blend in with the love and the commitment and all of that it that just seems to be actually for both of you i'm just picking up that seems to have been the majority like the like like the foundation of your connection and um w which you know it's it's great to have um, blended in with everything else but that seemed to take the front seat um, 
at least I don't feel like you at least for you Leo I don't feel like that was your intention but it just happened that way your advice here is the um, Prince of Discs so I just want to look at something here with this card because I'm still getting used to these cards um, because they're a little bit different than the Rider weight basic regular tarot. Um, I probably won't use these cards again, uh, honestly, because they just confuse me. Um, yeah, so your advice is to stay in your, um, your power and also um, open up to um, a Taurus, if there's a Taurus in your life connect to a Taurus. I don't know who that would be. Um, or seek a counsel or advice from a Taurus. Okay, but again, your advice here for you during November is to stay focused on your career and your money, things like that. And uh, so I was talking about distraction that, that may be a distraction for you that would be helpful just to um, lessen the pain of thinking about this uh, connection with this person because they're you know trying to let go of that mental connection and and everything you know I feel like when you think about this person um, and and they do and it's happening for them too there's still that you know the thought and then it it it, it ripples it trickles all through your body and um, that's how you know that there's you're still connected energetically to them um, because when you're able to think about them and not feel anything, not have it run from, you know, your crown chakra all the way through, um, that's how you know you're, you're, you're it's, le it's gone. Um, and you're not ready to make a decision, neither one of you, in November about um, connecting or, or reconnecting just yet. It's not time yet. Um, you may want to, but it's not time. So the outcome is the Ten of Swords. Okay, um, so the outcome is probably towards the end of November, there's actually going to be a feeling of that mental energy releasing. It's going to be very strong. Okay, now it doesn't have to be on the <laughs> November 30th, but it, it could, you know, start to happen around that time where you, you may, you know, when, when the universe wants to move you or make something happen, it just does it on its own, you know, and you can feel that shift. And you may feel that going into December now, okay, where there's the release of the, the mental stress that this connection holds. You may start to feel that. Um, and this is ruin, was what this card says here, but it's a 10. So it's like the finale. It's like the end of all these betrayals. So there's definitely going to be, you know... <sighs> Tens are always great, even the Ten of Swords, because it's um, it's an ending, and that and when that ending comes, that allows for a new beginning to come. And I feel like um, allowing that, you, you're gonna mentally, f uh, how do you say, mentally feel it. It's just an all-knowing. Okay, every single one of these swords represented some type of hurt and pain. And and this is also so I feel like there's there's just this healing stuff that's happening here this person's going through a change and a healing process and so are you and um, that shift coming in the outcome here is when you'll be able to start over and going into December to figure out and we'll see what the readings are for December but going into to December to now reassess and figure out which way you want to go what's the proper uh, thing for you to do um, on an emotional level or um, in um, your emotional life Okay, there definitely is still, um, this person is definitely still extremely physically attracted to you and vice versa. And uh, I don't know, I just kind of feel like for Leo, you guys really need to release this energy or, or just really, uh, uh, you can't force it. So don't force it and don't um, run from it, but allow it to release because you will get signs um, that it's, uh, you know, little signs throughout the rest of this month um, that you'll begin to feel the releasing, you know, and the change will begin to happen. You know, it's like it's like dieting or exercising, you know, day one in the beginning is always a struggle. But after about a week or so, you start seeing results and things begin to change. Change is always slow. Um, 
That's the way it works. So I just wanted to give you that message, and I hope that um, I was able to help you in some way. I feel hopeful um, towards the end of November that there will be like a, a final shift for you. If, for those of you who have be just been like, oh, really need to get out of this headspace, um, I feel like that will begin to happen for you. So, um, yeah, I hope that I was able to help, and uh, I will see you guys in December. All right, take care. Bye.